Yo, can y'all hear me? Yo. We got you, bro. Okay, bet, bet. Sorry, I didn't go through it first. I appreciate what y'all doing, man. I really do. All right, I have, like, two questions real quick. First one, what do y'all think about? Because y'all don't really talk about this, and I put this, like, on the comment section. But I know what y'all think about, like, OnlyFans girls and all that. But what do y'all think about, like, servers, you know, that work at, like, Hooters and Twin Peaks? <laughs> very close, my friend. <laughs> Yo, that's not even better, bro. That's not yes, even better, very close, bro. my that, friend. That's what I'm saying, because, like, a lot of these girls, they be... They be claiming like, oh, you know, it's just it's just a job, this and that. But like at the same time, you know, you're they you're get kind a bunch of, of almost offers. on the same way. Let me tell you what happens with Hooters girls, with Twin Peaks, and other ones, right? Especially the ones behind yeah. the drive-through window that are dressed really scantily. Um, right. So, bro, this I want to say job requires you to be flirty, mm -hmm. dressed, dressed not modestly at all, and at the same time, flirt in a way. It gets you tips and return customers. So as a result, your girl that's normally nice to you, maybe loyal to you, she goes to work, has to be on the other spectrum, uh, other side of it. Which means guys are going to say she likes me, go all the way, and they will even pay to make sure she's happy in that environment. And when I say pay, I don't mean only for sex. I mean for other stuff too. So the point is, bro, you can have thirsty dudes on your chick, 24 7 yeah because cause guess what she won't say i have a man she's gonna say yeah that will affect her bottom line i'm seeing somebody yeah. or i'm single you know and guess what's gonna happen when she's single she gets more tips this is why i want y'all to make money bro so your girl don't work these dumbass jobs yeah bro, bro. yeah i had a like, friend oh, i had a friend a very close friend to me actually my old roommate his girl wants to work at hooters she asked him he said fuck no you're not working at hooters we're gonna figure it out Unfortunately, that nigga was broke. So, <laughs> short the Hooters. Short <laughs> and come to find out, our homeboy is a cook there. So, we figured out very, very quickly what happens at Hooters. The cooks fuck the girls. No cap. They really do fuck the girls. Because they have status in that certain they situation. They are the ones, the man running the shit as well at yeah, Hooters. Yeah. But not only that, bro. You have customers in there, older men that are married, divorced, bored as fuck, middle of crisis. They want to pay whatever for a girl. Dude, late night when you're out of town or you're working out your job, bro, nigga says, yo, I'll give you 20 bands right now, bro. Pull up to the crib. She about to say no? No. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? And again, she may reject <clears throat> 10 offers, but 100 offers, nigga, she gonna take one of them. Yeah. Right, right. So. Yeah, man. This is why you can't be a brokey, man. I liken it to Instagram. Right. She's obviously taking herself on Instagram. In real life. Who is real life? Yeah, man. So. Yeah, bro. Okay, all right. I got y'all standpoint on that. All right, let me give y'all my, my story real quick. And then uh, to show y'all, like, what y'all do time. for me and stuff nigga, like that. Nigga, whatever you say. So, nigga, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> nigga, whatever you say, hey, nigga. We just told you what to do, bro. We just told you what it is, bro. We just told you yeah, what it is, man. No, no, no. I, I, that's what I'm saying. Like, I did that. You know what I mean? But I'm, I'm going to let y'all know how it's going right now. So, so right now? you know, this story, like, <laughs> can go out for some other young guys. So I'm 25. I was married, you know, with my girl in the military. While I was in the military for, like, uh, three years. Okay. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I keep. Yeah. For like three years, you know, came back uh, to Texas, all that good stuff. Uh, she was pregnant with my kid. Uh, now she's like nine months, right? My kid. And uh, we ended up separating, right? When we separated, you know, she did some stuff I didn't, I wasn't cool with. And then uh, we tried to get back together and all that stuff. And I was like, you know, we'll work it out regardless of whatever. And then later on, we started getting into more fights. Throughout the th three years, I was like cheating on her and she was like really loyal with me. I never did anything like physical, just, you know, liking girls stuff on Insta, talking to them, all that stuff. And then uh, coming back home after I got out, she was, uh, we separated again. And that's when she started working at Twin Peaks. And she's like, oh, well, I'm going to be a single mom now when, you know, like when my baby was already like four months old. And we were, keep in mind, we were already separated for like three and a half months already. And I was like, okay, you know, I'm going to work it out, this and that. At this point, I wasn't, like, watching y'all anymore. You know what I mean? Because I was, like, so invested in trying to fix her relationship. And I was like, like, what the fuck? I was like, what the fuck? Like, do I just keep trying all this? And I, it came to a point where she was, like, throwing more, more kind of, like, shade. The more she was, like, working around those type of girls, they were like, oh, well, these guys give me flowers. I get hit up by all these guys. These guys are better than me and, or better than you. And I'm like... Do you know what, man? Call like, what at this point... You? Nigga, what, 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 you're, you're literally telling us everything we told you. Yeah, bro. We knew yeah, this was going to yeah, happen, that's what bro. I'm saying. And now I completely, like, blocked her off, like, did all this stuff. Granted, I still see my daughter here and there, 
but through my parents. Uh, but but that's what I'm saying. Like I still watch. I could have been out right now partying and all that stuff, and now I have. I I took this contracting military contracting job overseas, and I'm gonna get paid uh more than a hundred thousand dollars a year. Bro, do me a so favor. I'm like, what y'all nice. do is like get a it's really get good, a, man. Get a DNA test. One. Yeah. And two. Yeah. Just no. Know it looks exa- bro. It looks exactly like me. Tell me. Do shit, it anyway, nigga. nigga. Tell me shit. By the way. Do it anyway. By the way, just so you understand this, right, bro? Do it if anyway, you, yeah. motherfucker. You you better do it anyway. If you're still talking to her, bro, and she works at Twin Peaks, bro, whenever you get her mad, guess what she's gonna do? Yeah, exactly what she you said. Your ass, nigga. Yeah, well, exactly so what you, you might, said. You might be good for five months, a year, maybe even two years. The moment you piss her off or get her, make her mad, nigga, what's yeah. she gonna do? You know what? This old man offered me ten k to suck his dick. Fuck it, nigga, cheat on me. I'm going for it. <laughs> Ta da. It's in front of her face. Yeah, yeah girls, 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 girls do dumb shit like that to make themselves feel better about their whole behavior, bro. I yeah. mean, that one girl said, "I'm not gonna compromise my morals to get a guy." Yeah, like, and it's like, no, bitch, you need to change your stupid, you know, liberal attitude to get a traditional guy. But they go ahead and they dress up the words in a certain way to make themselves feel better, bro. They're delusional, man. And bro, but yeah, dude, you you already you already knew what the writing you saw the writing on the wall. We yeah. just described it to you, and you told us the story, and we kind of knew that was what was gonna happen. Yeah, bro. But yeah, fuck that, bitch. Yeah. You could do better. Find another girl. Um, take, take care, care of your daughter, but daughter, make sure that the daughter is yours. Your daughter for sure. Make sure then, it's yours, bro. Yeah. Make sure it's yours. Like, I know you're saying, it looks just like me, uh, bro. Man, you got to remember, women, a lot of the times, tend to go for guys that look very similar. So get a DNA test anyway, dude, just to be safe. She's not your girl. She's Twin Peaks girl. Yeah, she belongs to Twin right. Peaks now. <laughs> Literally, bro. All right, man, who's up next? 